Professor Cat Gherkin. You can call me Professor Gherkin or Dr. Gherkin or um, Cat Gherkin is awesome. And um, I am going to be your professor for philosophy of film through the semester. And he is my intern and assistant, and he is an adjunct professor, and he will be grading your homeworks. So I'm getting his good side. Hey, excuse me. He's just take off your hat over there. Yeah. Yes. You know, he does that administrative stuff of managing class. I'm the grades. You know, because, you know, when we, I spend all my time watching movies and reading big books, so I don't have to deal with you bright kids. So that's his job, you know. I'm just here to write books and stuff. Like, I don't even want to teach. The they make me teach. I hate you stupid kids. Anyway, um, um, so anyway, about the class is about philosophy of film. And um, there, there are very important aspects of philosophy that are in film. And we're not going to be watching Simpsons clips and, like, stupid movies. Like, well, what's a recent stupid movie that kids like these days? Recess? Yeah, we're not going to be watching Recess or stuff with Brad Pitt and Jennifer Lopez and all your heroes. We're going to be really learning like Dasein and Dasein Zik and Kant's categorical imperative and stuff. Exactly, like in Trace of Blood. And we keep doing 15 minutes here. Um, excuse me, it's very rude to be coming in late. Uh, I don't come in late to your house, so you should think twice about what you were doing. Right. Sit down, sit down, stop interrupting, just sit down. Alright, um, alright, so I guess you guys don't like me very much. Well, you know, they just want to be rebels, so we're going to have to show them. So I was showing a joke, because I know you love you kids love jokes, so I was showing a joke to break the ice with you kids. Um, Jokes, they were our generation's version of the Facebook Hulk. Maybe you've heard of them. Anyway, here's my joke. The other day, I shot an elephant into my pajamas. How the elephant got in my pajamas, I'll never know. Alright, alright, right. but seriously, people, uh, you know, back to business. Uh... Alright, so you know what? I'm not going to do the intro stuff. He will email you all the administrative garbage. I am not some paper pusher. I am an intellectual and a man of learning. So I'm just going to jump into theory and not even bother with a bunch of stupid paperwork. That's his job. Right. Alright, um, so what is the philosophy of film? Well, the word philosophy comes from philia, like pedophilia, love. Like pedophilia would be love of children. If I liked you guys, I would be called a pedophile because you guys are pedos and I would have philia for you guys. But I would have a pedophobe because I'm afraid of you guys because you guys hang out the park right outside my house drinking all the time, cursing with your stupid teenager stuff and your stupid drugs and your stupid loud music. So I'm a pedophobe, not a pedophilia. Well, you know, just, just so they understand what kind of intellectual you're yes. coming from, let's, let's throw a question out to you, you know, none that obviously they can't answer. So here's the question. Why do elephants not have wings? Let them know. Well, that goes back to um, evolution, see. Um, Aristotle believed that there were categories of specia and that there are different animals. Um, hey, uh, do you have that camera? Is that still stupid kids for the rest of my life. I say that there could be a TV show about me someday, about me teaching, and this could happen if, if you know, well, this works out in three minutes. What? what? So that's why everyone's late. I guess they give the next class then. Oh. We do have three minutes. Oh. So I don't know more. Oh, yeah, intellectual stuff. Um, Okay, well, one very important uh, movie movement was German Expressionism. Um, Fritz Lang was a poor part of that in the cabinet of Dr. Caligari. You guys should be writing this down. And don't worry if you have any stupid laptops. I expect you guys to be taking notes with pencil and paper. Old school stuff. Who do you guys think you are writing pen? You guys think you're making mistakes? You guys make a 
ton of mistakes. You guys be riding into the race. Just turn your pencil upside down and like that. Yeah, I'm carrying your pen. Fine, this is the first. Yeah, I'm gonna be teabagging you guys. Teabag, teabag. Big government. We're gonna teabag big government. So don't tread on me. Right, this is the snake from the Bible. You know, the serpent. And big yeah. government. Alright, so anyway, um, well, uh, what we were talking about, uh, where were we going last year? Well, really nice. Oh, yes, German Expressionism. The origins of that could be seen in Goethe's novels, because it was in German Expressionism we saw an inward lookingness of the German, and silent film was so perfect to express the German national soul. And expressionism because it's about expressions and where do you see expressions more than in um, what you would call it film, it's not a film, because there's no dialogue and there's no talking. Alright, so I think we covered a lot today. Um, guys, I more than you was your own here. So, so um, I guess you should uh, get that. I hate the whole university system. In Germany, I don't have to teach you kids. I can just write books all day, watch movies.